No, you can't. You, you, you can't now. Okay, so some of the items respawn. That's very considerate. I wasn't up here, actually. Like, I did see this area on the map before, and I was like, was I here? No, yes. But, um, I guess I wasn't. <gasps> Is that a cat chest? Holy shit. Give me cool shit. Rose Corsage. What is this? Never say no to an accessory. <gasps> Meh. No. I mean, I appreciate it, but it's not. No. 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 Just <laughs> pretty lame. You know. Let's go to the road. Oh, hello. Um, I'm not gonna fight these too much because they're pretty much useless right now. Ow. Oh, that's very nice. Really? I wasted like two shit just for this shit. For nothing, basically. Very easy to block with no soul. Very, very easy. I mean, I am very easy to block, is what I'm saying. What's up there, is my question. I did not... Oh yeah, I remember what's up there. I don't think we're supposed to go there yet. Let's go all the way back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wonder if cat's chest respawn. That would be pretty cool. But I don't think so. Also, I'm, well, the souls clearly respawn. So maybe the chest, the chests do too. Perhaps we'll see in a bit. We will see in a bit. Uh, drilling much? This is all bad. Is it? Okay, chests don't seem to respawn, just loots. That sucks. I mean, I'm being too greedy, but you want more loot. I definitely want more out of this. Yeah, let's just fucking not bother too much. Hope it all turns to the best. Let's get this one soul. One single soul. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helades, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killaraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. I actually want to see it. Three of all that. You can't appreciate the beauty of nature and its killing potential. Or you got it. This is Dial's tail. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like. But I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? 
You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go. H hey, you don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. Okay, so we can enhance now. Blood blade. Do I have a blood blade? Is that what I'm using? It's not what I'm using, I'm pretty sure. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or is it just like a tutorial thing? Uh, bronze scrap. The limit of the depends on the arc right you used. Now, I smith arc. Acerites allows you to enhance items up to plus three with other acerites. You can enhance an item up to plus ten. This piece of equipment has been fully enhanced. Its name will change and become gold. Now, quality materials and quality of materials needed to enhance an item increases with its rarity and the number of times it has already been enhanced. Higher quality enhancement materials can be gained by dismantling enhancement enhanced equipment. Through the cycle of enhancing and dismantling, you can create a more powerful weapon. Oh, okay, so, um... Oh, you motherfucker, you gave me it just to dismantle it. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm gonna dismantle it again. I see, I shouldn't have sold all the items I sold. And that's how it's Damn. done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Uh, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Velvet's quest for power. Uh, let's see. Dismantle. Can't do shit. Enhance. Um. Look. I'm gonna do that. For now. And no more selling equipment, looks like. Um, I have to go back to the docks. Tommy used to work on the docks. Humans got shot. I don't know the words. Oh, oh we're halfway there. Oh, oh. Living on a prayer. Let's continue. <laughs> uh, no more singing, I guess. Is that it? What was that noise? Am I supposed to go here? Turn to the grounded ship. Oh, the ship, the original. Okay, I guess I have to go all the way back. Make makes sense, I guess. Uh, I I don't know why I thought like I had to go back look, over here, whatever. Well, Smugglers. it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. I'm assuming they're in the cave. Like in that cave over there at the top. Maybe. Let, let's go to the ship first, okay? Can you see it? Oh, no. Nope. That's unfortunate. Let's go. The walking is very slow. I'm gonna s like even though I'm what? It already respawned. The souls already respawned. 
Okay, even though I didn't kill everything here, I'm gonna skip it for now. Like, I think I can get away with skipping some things because um, of my double XP, you know. It should be fine. It should be okay at least. I don't know how fine it is, but yeah. What's this place? What's this thing? Flamestone chips are helping me. I want to see how much XP they give me. Bitch! Form 2. Holy shit. Okay. Victory is ours. Uh, what was that? Like 30? 40? Let's, let's check it again. Oh yeah. Okay, that, that was a waste. A huge one. At that. You won't get any pity or compassion. Forty. Yeah, that's pointless. Just continue. This noise. This noise will always get me. This is a slice. No, fuck off. Oh god, go away! What the fuck? Okay, that's... that's mine. Why did I just block him? What the fuck? Yes, get fucked, thank you. Well then, let's move on. See what break now. Hmm. Let's see what all these tiles do. Uh no, that's not art, that's equipment, sorry. Let's see, dual wielder. We already watched that, right? Fire attack power. No. Stagger duration based on the level. No. How about you? So many. Moon dropper. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now, right? Devotee. Because uh, based on the level. Capability versus beast. With armors. Armo amorphous. Amorphous. Okay, increase stagger duration. What's that? For being so long in the main, I wasn't that hey, long Velvet, in the main. Do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case by case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah, I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Doesn't look like it. Like, I guess you could make that an explanation for experience, but like, I don't know. Still weird. How that works. Let's talk to the crew of shipwrights. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Empyrean Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother... 
I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him.